Hey guys, I've put together a short uh, video, just some 30 minutes of some stretches that we can get started with in between classes during the week for physio. Um, it's a pretty simple flow, so the main thing is to you know listen to your own body. Um, all you'll need is a yoga mat if you have one or any sort of non-slippery surface, so preferably no socks if it's something uh, hard. Um, and they use optional. Let's get started. Let's start today standing up, feet either together or slightly apart, just under hip width apart. And we'll set up a foundation. So spread the toes nice and wide, center the weight right in the middle of the feet. And then tilt the pelvis sort of upwards. So not sort of clenching in the back, but lengthening up through the front so you feel the activation of the quads and the core. And in the back, a grounding down through the back, all the way down the back line. And we take a deep breath in, roll our shoulders back, and for a moment, close our eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Flutter the eyelashes open and we'll start with some neck rotations. One way, drawing circles in front of you with the nose rather than any big movements with the neck to avoid any crunching. Five and we'll pause and move the other way. And five, and we'll pause and recenter. From here, checking in that foundation again, so nice activation through the front and grounding down through the back. And we'll take our weight onto our right leg, peeling off the left foot off the ground and picking it up in front of us to a square kneeling position. Neighbours seem to be doing some housework. From here we'll isolate the toes. So just the top of the toes, squeeze down, release, squeeze down, release, squeeze down, release. One more time, squeeze and hold and release. Now with the full ankle, so I'll turn sideways so you can see. So from here we'll point our foot, flex, point, Flex, point, flex, point and hold. And then circles inward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll go for eight, but this time outwards and flexing the foot the whole time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Release that leg, recenter, foundation check, and onto the other side. So weight lifted up and we'll Isolate the toes. Two. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze and hold, and release, and point. Two, three, four, five, and hold, and then rotation inwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release and flex and go the other way. Six, seven, eight. And we'll release, come back to center, roll the shoulders. From here we'll take our arms straight out in front of us and we'll go for stop signs because that's a lot, a lot of the things we need to do in our um, syllabus this year. And check in with the shoulders. So tendency is that the shoulders want to come up but ground them down. So feel the shoulder blades sliding and gliding down the back part of the um, upper rib cage. So gliding down. Take a deep breath in, keeping the shoulders there. And exhale, let it out. Now we'll go for upward stretch. Same deal, but this time we'll start with raising the shoulders towards the ears. And then plug them down so you've got a nice long neck. From here we'll bring the arms back down in front of us turn them over and we'll go for some shoulder rotations, being really mindful about the position of the shoulder blades here. So 
palms towards shoulders, open, out to the side, back to the front. And keep breathing as you do so. Three, four, and we'll go for five. And pause and go the other way. So take the arms out, fingertips come to shoulders, elbows to the sky, forward. Checking with those shoulder blades, ensuring they are lowered and softly pulling down the back body. And five. And release. From here we'll come to the front of the mat or whichever space you're using. And we'll go for feet together, foundation check, nice active stance here, not just hanging there while we stand up tall. And we'll go for a little bit of a flow to get the body a little bit warm. So we'll start off, palms come to the center of the chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bow the head. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the knees as bent as you need to. Inhale, come up to halfway lift, which is almost straight in the legs and the arms pull back. So you've got this nice long spine all the way from the top of the crown to the tip of the tailbone. And exhale, forward fold. And we'll just go through that flow. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up. And as you reach up here, ensure that the tailbone is pointing towards the ground and you hug the lower ribs in. Then you exhale, dive forward, sitting back, bending the knees. Inhale, almost straighten the legs, just a micro bend in the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, palms to the center. Once more, one breath each movement. In, out. In, and out. In, out. In, out. In. And out. In. And this time moving with your own breath, maybe even closing the eyes. Once you finish that round, release the arms to the side and take a breath. From here, we'll take a gentle forward fold. So as we were in that previous uh, flow, we'll come forward, keep the knees nice and bent and palms towards the floor, but they may not reach there. But what we want to check in again is that the shoulders are relaxed, so not reaching over too far. If that means you need to come up a little bit so that your belly is sitting onto your thighs, then do so, but find what feels right for you. It's not to get the palms on the floor straight away. From here, we'll release the head, maybe even take a hold of the elbows and swing left to right, whatever feels comfortable for you. And take a few breath cycles and with each breath in and out, Feel the lengthening of the spine, so more and more space in between each vertebra. From here, release the elbows if you're holding them. Interlace the fingers and pet face the palms towards the ground. Belly button to spine lifts us up, scoop forward and up, and I'll face you. From here, we'll check in that foundation again. So lower ribs are hugged in, pelvis is slightly tipped so that the tailbone is lengthening down. Quads are nice and engaged, and we lift up, inhale onto our toes. 
exhale, come back down, lean towards your right, stretching through that whole column. So we're not really leaning forward here, but opening up the chest. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, extend up. Exhale to release. One breath in to open. Exhale, release. And keep the arms slowing down. This time, plant the palms and come forward. Walk the palms forward and the feet back. And we'll come into our downward facing dog. This is our first downward facing dog. So pedal it out. Move around. Keep that position going while I fix my microphone. In downward facing dog, we'll then come with our feet together, big toes and heels touching just slightly. And then we'll inhale, come onto our toes. Exhale, release. Not pushing the heels towards the ground and this time as well, keeping the knees as bent as possible. The bend in the knees allows our muscles to be engaged rather than the stretch to be felt through our um, joints instead. So in downward dog, plant the palms nice and firm so that the weight is all across. So not just in the heels here, but spread the weight all through the fingers, all towards the fingertips and through from, and back towards the palms as well. To keep active in the upper back body and through the whole back, almost bend the elbows and reach them out towards the front. So you've got this, you should feel an active activation of the um, shoulder muscles around the shoulder all those stabilizing muscles. Together we'll inhale onto our toes. Exhale, we'll drop both heels towards the right and push through the left palm so you feel a nice deep stretch to the left. Relax the head. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale towards the left, push through the right palm nice and firm. Feel the stretch along the right side of the body. Inhale, back to centre. Once more, exhale, release. From here, we'll inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky and turn the toes down and the heel is the one that's actually kicking out. So our hips are nice and square. The weight should be evenly across the three points of contact, so the palms and the left foot. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and plant that foot down. We'll come into a nice low lunge. Fix whatever needs fixing for now. And together we'll lift up through the center. So draw belly button towards the spine and we'll open up. From here you can turn that back foot down or keep it up, whatever feels right for you. And we'll pull back a little bit so we can find that squaring again in the hips. So the right thigh bone draws back so it's in line with the hips. And then a slight tilt, so you've got this nice active stretch going through the left quad. And take a deep breath in, and one breath cycle out. From here we'll curl the back toes under, so you might need to shift your weight slightly forward, depending on how your body sits in this position. Take a deep breath in together, and as we exhale, we'll lift off that back knee. So to lift off the back knee, the heel is, a, is what's pushing back towards the other side of the body. And once more, we'll bend the back knee so that we can really get our, our hip, uh, our pelvis right under us to create that foundation for when, we, when we're doing floor drill. Once you've gotten your hips underneath this whole center, then use just the heel to kick that back. And from here, we'll stretch out to the side and breathe up. Now, in this position, check that your lower ribs are nice and hugged in. So we don't want to do that, but rather hug that in so you've got this active stretch. And that actually gives you the, the foundation and balance to keep in this position when your head is pulling back. So together, we'll inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Plant them back down. And then step this right foot back to meet the left, back to downward facing dog. Together we'll inhale, 
Lift the left heel, turn the toes down, keep the hips squared. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, lift slightly higher. And then exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and plant that foot down. Release the back foot, fix what needs fixing. And together we'll draw up, so belly button to spine to pull us up here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Now once again, shift the weight slightly back, so this time drawing the left thigh bone towards the um, centre of the body. So you've got nice active um, stance here, it's not sort of sitting into it. And then we'll curl the back toes under, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, the heel drives us up by pushing back, allowing the knee to straighten. Bend that back knee once more. Sit into it as far as you can. And then push that back heel out to create this pose. If you haven't done this active stretch, and I haven't in a long time, you might, it might mean that for a while we've got this pelvis under and this back knee won't straighten all the way. But that ensures that we've got the right position and the right balance. So together we'll inhale, bring the palms up towards the sky, hug in the lower ribs, and then take our head back, shoulders nice and relaxed down the back body. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Plant the palms. Left foot comes back and we're in downward facing dog. One whole breath cycle, maybe even a couple. Together we'll bring the feet touching again. Once more, inhale, lift the right heel up towards the sky. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Plant that foot down and swivel on the back foot so it's then going 45 degrees to the corner of the room. We'll windmill the arms up so this left arm comes up and back so that we're then in warrior two. So foundation check again, pelvis is slightly tucked, legs pushing through so this knee pushes through to almost straighten, but you feel really active in both the quads as we take our warrior two stance. I'll stay here for a moment, keep that pelvis tucked under, tailbone lengthening down, shoulders relaxed. So as we start to work hard, it wants to come up. We'll breathe through it. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Palms together, look up, exhale once more. As you're sitting further into it, make sure that hip, the hips are nice and squared off so we're not tilting just yet. We'll get into that in a moment. One more time, inhale. And this time, as we exhale, reach the arms forward. Keep that front knee almost straight. So again, we're not locking, but a micro bend until we're in a triangle. So looks like I need to bring my feet in a little bit. You might need to as well. And we're in our triangle pose. So really pushing through that back leg, especially that left outer edge of that left back leg. And your head might look anywhere along the front or all the way up to the ceiling. Both legs pushing firmly into the ground, into the mat, depending on where you are. Belly is soft, shoulders are relaxed. Next, not cranking in the most comfortable position for you. One more deep breath in. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, strong legs bring us both up to centre. And we'll turn it on to the other side. So from here, inhale. And as we exhale, warrior two pose. One more check of the um, pelvis tucked under. So if you feel like, or always visualize a column. So from the ribs all the way down through the hips, one strong column. That gives us that strong foundation, allows us to balance in many positions and movements. Deep breath in. Straighten the front leg. 
look up. And exhale, sit in a little bit further, taking hips nice and squared. One more deep breath in. And this time as you exhale, lean forward and fold over into triangle. Slight bend in that front knee, in that left knee. You might be facing away from me or, or facing me, doesn't matter. But make sure that the legs are both pushing evenly into the ground. And that front knee isn't locked in. Strong legs, but soft belly. One more breath cycle. Inhale, lengthen the spine towards the top of you where you're standing. And then exhale, strong legs bring us back up. Bring the feet together, give it a bit of a shake. I can feel a little quite uh, difficult at times. And then from there, we'll step out our feet as we are in exercises. So it'll be just a little bit further than um, hip width apart or actually quite a little bit further. And we'll do our forward fold in the triangle. So to start off, interlace the fingers at the back and pull the shoulder blades down. So it's not just pulling together, but down as well. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Now as you exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. And allow the palms to come up towards the floor, so upside down it feels like up, but it's actually down towards the floor. Allow the head and neck to be relaxed in this position. And from here, see if you can release the arms slowly to come out to the side and place them under your feet. We try and do what we do in floor drills, so take them out towards the side of the feet, tuck the thumbs in. And we'll come to our halfway lift. So spine's nice and long. So from the tip of the tailbone to the crown, it's one line. And we'll exhale, fall forward. And let the head hang loose. Slight micro bend here in the knees as well. So we're not locking in. Depending on how good your balance is and how you're feeling at the moment, you might even close the eyes and let everything hang. From here, inhale, come up, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the palms towards the hips. And then inhale, strong legs bring us up. From here, come to the tip of your mat or just to the side of the space that you're in. And we'll come to a kneeling position. Together, we'll place the palms on the lower back and into the, onto the glutes. Inhale, lift up. And same sort of position. So you're wanting to lift up through the front, close in the lower ribs for now as we start our posture. And then as we exhale, reach the hips forward and allow the spine to curve over. So imagine a nice equal bend in the spine from the bottom all the way to the top in the neck. So not any one part is feeling the stretch. If you have it in you today, you might reach back Breath will be nice and shallow because our chest is so stretched out. One more breath. In and out. And then slowly come forward, palms back to the glutes. And then sit the hips back into child's position. Now the forehead to be firmly onto the mat. Now the spine to be soft. And 
them to come out all slowly. Start firstly with the belly button connecting to the spine, rolling it up. And we'll come onto our backs. Final little postures here before we end in Shavasana. So, toes up towards the sky, right knee draws up, inhale. As we exhale, we'll take that right knee across the body onto the left side. Right shoulder blade stays onto the ground, so a little bit of a spinal twist here. That foot, right foot can be on the inside of the, of the left leg or on the outside, whichever is comfortable. One breath cycle. Inhale back to centre, keep the feet flexed. Exhale, release, belly button to spine, so you've got nice control. Inhale, other side. And exhale, turn. And twist. You might look the other way. And inhale, back to centre. Exhale, release. And to end in our resting posture. So shoulder blades tuck under. Hips of it as comfortable as they need to be, so you might move around a little bit and the feet fall out naturally. Palms facing up. And allow all that you've done in today's little practice to settle in. You feel free to stay here for as long as you like. And when you're ready, get on with your day.